Okay, happy to see you here and today we have a really great challenge, we have a really tricky challenge, we have square root of 12 plus square root of 75. This is maybe the easiest question for, for, for most of students, but a lot of students do this common mistake and I want to show you this mistake right here. But before solving this, I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Let's check our algebra skill real quick. We have four options, so choose one option, what do you think is correct, and write your option down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to check these answers, okay? I will show you the correct answer here in just one minute. So here's our question, here is our option, and it looks like a correct answer is, for those who don't know about algebra, it looks like a correct answer is square root of maybe 87, yeah, we, we add these uh, values right here, and square root of 87, so it looks like option B is a correct for those who don't know about algebra, who don't know about math. Because this is really bad solution, this is absolutely incorrect solution, so in algebra we need to solve this in another way. Let's look at it. So we have square root of 12, plus square root of 75. So in algebra we cannot add these values right here, so we have addition. Maybe if we have like multiplication we can multiply it with the rule of, uh, with the square root rule, but right here we have addition, so it's not a good sign to add this, add this value. How can we work with this? We need to look at these two numbers, we have 12 and we have 75. Now we need to express this in another way, because we, let's look at it. So we have 12, let's express this as 2 times uh, 6, we can do this, yeah? We can express this as uh, 3 times 4, yeah, and uh, maybe 1 times 12, so but it, it not necessary to, to do this like that, so 3 types of expression. And this, this 75, let's look at it, how can we express this? Uh, one way, I see only one way, we can express this as 25 times 3. So, we can express this only in one way, maybe with the 5, but it's not good for us, because right here we don't have 5. And right now, what is the main logic right here? We need to look at it, and we need to find the same value. So, 2 and 6 right here, 25 and 3, we don't need this expression, so we don't need this expression. Uh, 25, 3 is 3, 4. Yeah, this is really good, so we need this expression right here. So, 3 and 4, and 25 and 3. And 1 and 12, we reject this expression, we don't, we don't need it. Okay? And right now, let's look at it. Square, uh, 12 we express is as 3 times 4, so we have square root of 3 times 4, yeah, and plus 25 we express as uh, 25 times 3, okay, 25, 25 times 3. Okay, we express in another way, nothing changed for us because we write it as a product, so doesn't matter for us, doesn't change anything. And right now we need to know a really interesting rule with square root. So if we have something like that, if we have square root of a times b, we can write it as square root of a times square root of b. This is a really great rule, we need this rule right here. So right now let's express this uh, square root, so let's separate this square root. So we have square root of 3 times square root of 4, yeah, and plus square root of 25 times square root of square root of 3. Okay, I hope you understand this step. We just write it in another way. We just just separate the square roots. Okay, what we're going to do next? So the final step. It looks like the final step. Oh, not the final. We know that square root of 4 equal to 2. So we have 2 square root of 3, yeah, and plus 25 equal to 5. So we have plus 5 square root of 3. 5 square root of 3, okay, and equal to 2 square root of 3 plus 5 square root of 3 equal to 7 square root of 3. Okay, and but let's look at it, let's look, look right here, 7 square root of 3, we don't have this option, so it's it's a bad sign for us, because right here it looks like solved this correctly, but we don't have this option. But this is really interesting and tricky moment, because um, this 7 square root of 3 we need to express it in another way, this is like a tricky part of this question, so we have square 7 square root of 3, yeah? And let's write this 7, so let's in a square root sign, so right here 7, this is the same as square root of 49, yeah? and times square root of 3. And now the reverse rule, so right here we have this expression, a times b, and right now we go back to this common square root. So we have square root of 49 times 3, which is equal to square root of 1, 147, yeah? And we have this option, this is option, option A is a correct, a correct to this question. This is like easy question for most of you, but I hope you understand my thoughts, I hope you learn something new, this is my main goal uh, you, for me to learn you something new right here. This is very like easy question, but a lot of students do this mistake and I wanted to record this video. So right here we have square root of 147. I hope you understand my explanation, I hope you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, write any comment, it really helps to improve my videos, to make 
make more videos every day because right now I make video maybe one in a, one video in, in four days, which is like not not good i i think but uh, if you support me a little bit with your like and a comment i will be really grateful and thankful for your for your support so thank you for your time and have a great day i wish you all the best and see you in the next videos